you got a good area to grow some pecan trees. Now the question comes up, how many are you going to put there? Let's talk about spacing. Okay, if you're just putting in pecan trees around your property to enhance the aesthetics, it's kind of your best judgment. Just remember that that mature tree is going to be nearly 60 feet in diameter. That's a big tree. Don't be putting them up under power lines. Don't plant them right next to your barn. And also keep in mind, a pecan tree to bear nuts well will need a pollinator. So you'll need at least two different types there on your property. If you're doing a small orchard, there's two different ways you can think about it. The first way to think about it is to go for maximum yield early on. And to achieve this, you're gonna need a lot of young trees. Let's face it, a young tree doesn't have many branches. And to cover that acre of land, you're gonna need a lot of trees to do it. Let's say you go with a tight 20 by 20 spacing, meaning your rows are 20 feet apart. And within those rows, the trees are also 20 feet apart. This can give you 109 trees per acre. That's a lot of trees. Consider that every one of those will need irrigation ran to them, they'll need fertilizing, and they'll need general maintenance. And 15 years down the road, they'll start to grow into each other. You're gonna have to come in and remove a lot of those trees so that the remaining trees will perform at their best. The second school of thought on how to space your trees is to go ahead and put them out there at spaces where they're, they'll mature well and be comfortable with each other because they're social creatures. Shall we shoot again? Spread those trees out and put them at distances where they'll be comfortable and perform well when they're mature. Let's say you go ahead and put them in at a 60 by 60 foot spacing. That'll only require 12 trees per acre. That's 97 less trees than that 20 by 20 spacing we just talked about. The downside to all that cost and labor savings is you'll be several years waiting on a good nut production to acre ratio. When it comes to actually laying out your orchard, you can use a lot of online mapping, uh, GPS's. There's probably some apps on your phone that would help you do it. But at my orchard, I just went with a 60 by 60 spacing. I got out there with a string, some stakes, a range finder, and a good old fashioned measuring tape. I had my kids and a buddy from work helping me. It was just real easy. You may find it helpful to Google the Pythagorean theorem, brush up on what that is. But basically it's a mathematical formula to keep squares and rectangles. Well, just that, square and rectangular. If you take time and apply that to your layout, you can be sure everything will come out nice and neat. The reason I chose the 60 by 60 on our place is because I'm not looking to quit my day job. I really don't like weeding trees and I don't like riding my lawnmower in circles around them. It's a lot of extra work. I just chose to be patient and enjoy the beauty of them and just let it ride. Guys, at the end of the day, there really isn't a right or wrong answer about what spacing to use in your orchard. It really boils down to what do you want from your orchard and what are you willing to put into it? I'm Silas Dudley. Thanks for checking out the Nut Dynasty.